Hello, Dr. Wallach. The women in my family are plagued with hay fever and asthma and allergies, and I don't want to join those ranks. Is there a better way? Absolutely. Uh, let's start with asthma. It's the easiest one to deal with. Asthma is actually a deficiency of three nutrients, magnesium, manganese, and the essential fatty acids. And by taking the pig arthritis formula twice a day, you're going to get the optimal amounts of the plant-derived colloidal and the chelated magnesium and manganese. And then by taking the minimum daily requirement, the nine grams of the essential fatty acids, and those three nutrients together, the magnesium, manganese, and the essential fatty acids, will allow you to produce what's called prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are little short-lived hormones that last in your bloodstream 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and your body is continuously making them, kind of rapid fire. And when you don't have those three nutrients, you cannot make the proper prostaglandins to keep your bronchi and your trachea open, and that's when you develop asthma. And it's very common when people take all 90 essential nutrients, including the magnesium and manganese and the essential fatty acids, Within weeks or months, the tightness, this constant tightness in their chest is significantly reduced or maybe even totally relieved. The frequency and the severity of their asthma attacks is reduced. I would certainly still keep a, an inhaler available until she, uh, you know, in case you had some unexpected emergency, kind of like wearing your seat belt, even though you're on a smooth flight and you, you're not going to uh, anticipate sudden turbulence. You need to be pre prepared for emergencies, but um, you have every honest expectation of doing very well. Then, as far as inhalant allergies from dust and pollens and uh, seasonal ones from dust and pollens and maybe constant ones from danders and cats and dogs and chickens and feathers and your pillows and that kind of thing, uh, maybe even chemicals that come out of rugs and formica and new cars like formaldehyde and other chemicals, um, you want to get your immune system working optimally so it can protect you from these things because most people are able to tolerate them. And what happens is when your immune system doesn't have enough nutrition to function optimally, uh, you become a victim of these things assaulting you all the time. And so what you want to do is, number one, take all 90 essential nutrients. So your immune system, which includes your liver and your spleen, your tonsils and your appendix, uh, your thymus, uh, your um, white blood cells, which include the neutrophils and the lymphocytes and the uh, killer T cells and so forth, also, you have eosinophils and basophils, you have neutrophils. All of these are white blood cells. You have albumins and globulins, which are the, the um, immune proteins. You have antibodies themselves. You have your digestive system, your skin, your tears, the mucus in your body. All of that requires 90 essential nutrients to produce this immune system, which is not just your killer T cells. Uh, it, it includes all of these tissues and, and cells and organs of your body. Uh, also, if you have these types of problems, you want to get uh, some of these HEPA filters uh, at your workplace, in your home when you sleep. You can get the ones that you plug in your car. You want to eat as much organically grown food as possible. You want to drink filtered uh, waters. You want to get as much chemicals out of your diet as possible and uh, reduce this pressure on your immune system. If you have food allergies, you want to have a five-day rotation diet. You want to take the enzyme, which has the pepsin and the betaine hydrochloride, which will help a person digest the proteins down into single amino acid and it's the proteins and the allergens such as danders and foods and pollens and dust that cause the the uh, allergies and even can initiate an attack of asthma thank you you're very welcome